In this video, we'll go over nested objects in the BERT report. Nested objects are good to use if you have a sublist somewhere in your report, or maybe you have a long form report that you're printing out for many IDs at once, or maybe you have um, some data sets that you just can't join together for some reason, uh, maybe performance or just some limitations you have with whatever programs you're using. So we'll take this example we have here. We have a basic table and we've been told that now, in addition to the product ID, product name, sales order detail, total due and order date, they also want the product photo. So over here we had the first data set for this main table, the main data set, which has our, our main query. And so we don't want to add to that query. We just want to add in the data set with the photo and link that to the first table. So you have many options when you're nesting objects. Um, the outer objects usually would be a grid or a table. And the inner objects can be any other object with a data binding. So for this example, we're going to insert a table. And so we're just going to add the binding to the table. And we're going to take out the header and footer here because we just want one object. And we'll add in a label called photo. So in here, we're going to add, insert, Okay, first we're going to do the, the linking of the objects. So how you link objects is you go to filters and you add, and the filter condition is gonna, we're gonna use is a product photo ID or a product ID. We're linking the inner tables product ID to the outer tables product ID. So we're going to have equal to, and then we're going to build an expression. And how this works is when you add in nested objects, if you're coming from a program programming background, it's sort of, a, it works as an inheritance. So this is the outer tables data binding and the inner tables data binding. So what we're going to pick is the outer tables product ID, and it's going to show row outer row dot outer. And every time you nest something, it's going to ha have another dot outer, outer. So if you have two or three objects nested, you have dot outer, dot outer, dot outer. So we're going to click OK. And so that's how we've based our inner table on the outer table. So now we're just going to insert our image. Click OK, and we're going to run. And now we have our images. So you can see we have a rear wheel and long sleeve jersey, mountain bike silver. And we'll just we'll go through our results and we can just see everything's matching up and we'll just run it for another ID to see that that works. And 
and you can see it's matching up with the outer outer table. So you can also add in this works for other objects. We'll just show real quick how you can um, maybe insert a chart and you would select the photo data set and you again use the filters and it's the same process equal to and you have your data binding so you see the outer table will show so that's it for nested objects you just need to apply the filter to your inner object referring to your outer object and your query should filter accordingly.